The same signal of air from the governor which causes the compressor to unload also starts the air dryer purge cycle. Air from the governor enters the control port of the air dryer, moving the purge valve piston. The turbo cutoff seals the inlet port and opens the purge valve. Contaminants in the end cover sump are expelled from the open purge valve. To protect the supply reservoir against air loss, the check valve closes. At the same time, air in the purge volume and air passing through the desiccant cartridge reverse direction as the purge valve is opened. Air from the purge volume passes through the orifice adjacent to the check valve and expands to near zero PSI, becoming super dry before flowing into the desiccant cartridge. This super dry air regenerates the desiccant material by stripping away accumulated water vapor. Contaminants in the oil separator are also carried away through the open purge valve. Closing the dryer inlet port during the purge cycle ensures that loss of engine turbocharger pressure is minimized in the event the compressor intake is connected to the turbo. The entire purge cycle is complete in about 25 seconds. The purge valve will remain open until air brake system pressure is reduced to the governor cut-in setting of 100 PSI. When the governor exhausts air from the compressor unloaders, air is also removed from the air dryer purge piston. With control pressure removed, the piston moves in response to its spring and closes the purge valve. The charge cycle repeats.